Okay, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. I don't do a lot of pre-recorded videos. I've done lots and lots of live demonstrations, but I'm doing this one pre-recorded because sometimes the picture does get a little bit distorted uh, when showing off our product uh, in stream. So this time I'm doing it in pre-recording so you can see exactly how amazing the technology looks. Now, keep in mind for those of you who are saying, well, it's pre-recording, it's not real. I've done enough live demonstrations to choke a horse, so I'm good on that one. All right, so let's begin. Uh, first things first, let me show you what's going on in the uh, theater room slash lounge. I'm calling this the theater room slash lounge. Someone actually came and said, hey, it's a lounge area. I'm like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Call it theater room slash lounge. Now, this is my Sony 720p projector. Usually, uh, when you see ultra short though projectors, they're sitting right up near the edge of the screen. As you can see, mine's standing at a distance. It's actually sitting at the floor, and it's actually for an ultra short throw. It's still doing a bit of a throw distance because it's not sitting right up on top of the screen. And this shows you that these screens can pick up on just about anything as long as the projector is name brand. We don't do knockoff projectors. I explained to people that over and over and over again. Now, as you can see, we're in a fully lit environment. Anywhere I stand, who has one spooky owl? Anywhere I stand, you can see the image. It's going to pull up with no problem whatsoever. One of the things people worry about when it comes to ultra short throw is angle gain, not being able to see the image when it's on an angle. I'm showing you that I can go anywhere I want in the environment. Let me turn my lights on in here. There we go. Anywhere I want in the environment, and that screen is going to pull up with no problem whatsoever. Now, the beautiful thing about this technology, as I said before, you could paint this on just about anything you want, and you don't have to worry about your screen uh, washing or fading. You don't have to worry about whether or not it's ultra short though compatible. Those things you do not have to worry about. Now, I'm going to show you this one later on how much lighting we have in the environment we're going to go upstairs because i have some demonstrations we don't have tvs here in the home we only use projectors only as i said before you have to have a lot of confidence in your product to use um big fish over there you have to have a lot of confidence in your product to be able to use uh short throws not short throws but projectors only Let me see. Now this is being used on my, um, that is my um, ultra short, no sorry, short throw. Um, oh, I keep forgetting the NEC projector. So NEC projector, short throw. Now you see we're always in a fully lit environment. I have a lot of projectors. I always am a lost for words when it comes to my projectors. Now over here, I have my work PC. This right here is my Epson 5A5 um, 5A5W ultra short throw projector. One of the important things I have to have in my office slash game room, I have to be able to see the text crystal clear. Keep in mind this is a fixed frame screen that was coated with a Supreme 8. Not only can I uh, do my work here in a fully lit environment, but I can read the text crystal clear because this uh, screen paint pulls up a bright enough image so I can read the text. If the screen was too dark, I wouldn't be able to read the text at all. And I'll show you with the lights out. This is my gaming room, so it's well lit. I have my LED lights all over the place. Now, the only monitor we have in the environment is a security monitor, and that's it. Everything else in here runs off projectors. All right, so then I'll come over here and I'll show you over in our bedroom this right here is our um our uh nec so not nec optima gt 5600 ultra short throw this one right here is in the bedroom this is around 60 inches 
it thought it'd be much better and I don't do TVs anyway but like I said if I did do TVs I did not want to put in a 60 inch number one I didn't want to mount brackets into the wall this is a firewall on this side which means I would have to have a masonry drill or a hammer drill to punch through it and it would have been a ton of work just putting the bracket in all together easier to just paint the screen on and be done with it with an ultra short throw and as you can see look at the environment it's always well lit as I said these are my environments that I have in my home every single day and I'm able to see the screen on an angle without a problem has a perfect angle gain that's something I don't have to worry about that's what I love about this technology now my girlfriend slash wife which I call I've been with her about five years she can sit here, read her books, her magazines, whatever she wants to do. And I, she can sit here and I can watch my TV shows without worrying about having the lights up or the picture becoming, you know, washed out or faded. And this is the beautiful thing about having true ambient light rejection technology. Now, our screen paint is called Supreme 8 Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint. And it gives you the ability to paint just about anything you want. Why sit in the dark all day? Because you're afraid your screen's going to wash out on you. That's something I don't have to go through. Now let me show you what's amazing, the most amazing thing about this technology. This technology is designed to turn just about anything you want into a projection screen. So I went over to Walmart yesterday. I picked up a bed sheet. This is a bed sheet over at Walmart. It cost me around $9.44. So we're going to watch some uh, demonstrations off a bed sheet. Fully lit environment as always. And this is off a $9.44 printed bed sheet. And this is why I said this is where companies benefit from this technology due to the fact that, and like I said, we have distributor contracts that we're actually in the process of signing. Actually, we have one that's already set in stone already, um, and that pro um, it's going to be that. Uh, sorry, that contract's going to be starting up very soon, as meaning they're going to be placing the orders very soon. But keep in mind, like I said, the paint is going to be available to our customers until those contracts become activated. Once those contracts um, are officially placing orders from our website, the website will be locked. It will be password required due to the fact that we have to keep good faith with our, um, with our, dis our contract distributors. If that website's open, keep in mind, anyone can go around them and just order the paint. So that's why the website will have to be locked with password protection only. Now, until this happens, the paint is available on the website. That's why I say it. When you have the time, take advantage of it now. Companies that are coming in and trying to buy large quantities, your orders will be denied. This is for customers only. Now, as I said before, instead of a company going in and spending thousands upon thousands of dollars to replace their original screen so you have like maybe about 20 or 30 white projection screens motorized screens fixed screens and so forth instead of you replacing all those screens you can just go in and coat it with our screen paint and keep in mind you don't have to spend anything extra due to the fact that the screen may not be ultra short to compatible and you may have to spend the money for an ultra short to compatible screen the screen paint is fully ultra short though compatible as you can see there is my sony right there sitting on the floor not even close to the screen whatsoever pulling an image with no problem and then over here we have our long throw sony projector which is pulling an image and a fully lit environment So instead of you replacing 
all those screens, all you would have to do is just go in and just recoat them. Now, as for our customers who have the ability to get their hands on the product now while it's available, keep in mind you can coat over anything you want. If I'm getting this image from a bed sheet, just think what you can get on using anything around your house. With the white levels for black screen. Now, bonus part about this technology, it does have the ability to produce images outside. It can start producing images outside around somewhere between uh, 5 to 6 o'clock in the evening. Now, the projectors outside for this particular form of formula to use outside must be used with projectors of 3,500 lumens and up. Inside can be used with projectors as low as 1,100 lumens. And I'll show you the angle gain on my bed sheet. Projection screen. Now instead of you spending all the money for expensive blackout cloth that keep in mind that may fade or wash out because it doesn't have our technology. You can do this with a cheap bed sheet in our product. If we could turn a bed sheet into this, imagine what you can do with your projection screen sitting at your home that you're no longer using due to the fact that the image is washing out or fading. People think they have to go out and spend money for a more expensive projector or better lumens, higher lumens, or maybe 4K or 1080p. That is something you are not going to need. I'm going to take my lens shift, I'm going to bring the image up and show you what happens when I take this projector I'm using right now because some of you may think it's the projector doing all the work. Before we go down that line, I'm going to show you something really quick. Now this is a Sony VPL, I'm going to pause this for a minute. This is a Sony VPL FH30 projector at 4300 lumens, 1920 by 1080p. Sorry, 1920 by 1080p. I'm sorry, 1920 by 1200. Sorry about that. This is a very high-end projector. Now, even at 4300 lumens, 4300 lumens, I'm going to show you exactly how much picture quality you will lose without our technology. You get a much better image quality and keep in mind a much more deeper and richer image. See how faded the color looks? You're not getting a brighter image. You're not getting a brighter image. You're getting a faded, washed out image. The contrast is very, very important. 
And this is something gray screens and white screens can't do because they don't produce enough contrast and the screens wash out and fade. That's why they can't be used in fully lit environments. This is something a gray screen and white screen cannot do. And this projector I'm using behind me is only 1080p. What's well, a 1080p projector? It's nowhere near 4K. And that's why I said this technology has the ability to actually advance your projector's picture quality. This is a reason why you have to calibrate your projector and go through all this nonsense when you're dealing with gray and white screens because they can't produce a proper color due to the fact that they have no contrast. beautiful that image looks. That's why I left some of the bed sheet out. Because I wanted to show you that, you know, how amazing this technology is. It's actually coded onto a bed sheet. It's a bed sheet projection screen. And print it at that. See how the image fades? You get a much more realistic image with our technology. I thought my phone was down here. Usually, I have my phone over there. You never believe that was a bit cheap. from my other phone. Okay, so I found you it. You don't have to be a chef to make a meal that tastes amazing. Farmer Foods. Your tea looks like in that room. Now I'm gonna come over in here. We got the screen in here and we're going to do a switcheroo. See if I can get away with it here. There we go. And we'll switch the image I had downstairs. We're gonna bring it upstairs. Not 
sound up here is a little too high. There we go. So you can see what the screen looks like upstairs with actual video playing through it. Painted. For those of you wondering, what does it look like paint on the wall? This is it painted right directly to the wall. How beautiful that looks. So that's the whole purpose. People do not want to be trapped in the dark. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Look at that. Bed sheet. Still can't believe that it's actually on a bed sheet. You can see this for yourself. What I mean by the colors fade, keep in mind you can't pick up deep dark blues on a right there. Deep dark blues don't pick up. Certain colors like reds, blues, and greens do not pick up properly on a white wall. And this is on a 4300 lumen projector. There you go. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Let's just play a little bit more. 
Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. Just want to do this in uh, pre-recording because I just want to show you exactly. We get a much better picture quality in pre-recording due to the fact that we don't have a lot of interference from our Wi-Fi signal. Sometimes Wi-Fi shuts on, one time it shuts off. Sometimes the video can become a little bit gritty. But I just want to show you this, how this looks like in pre-recorded. How amazing this looks. Like I said, this is on a bed sheet, a Walmart bed sheet. Showing you how we can paint, turn anything into a high ambient light rejection, true contrast projection screen. That is ultra short, they're compatible, fully weatherproof, and yes, they can be taken outside. Thank you all for your time. I have to go, and God bless.